attempt, the attempt trial was a follow-up study after APT. APT is the study that established the current worldwide standard as adjuvant treatment for small HER2 positive breast cancer, that is paclitaxel and trastuzumab. An attempt was a randomized phase two trial that had two main aims. And the first aim was to look at adjuvant TDM1 for one year and what, what, what are the outcomes of this treatment in stage one HER2 positive breast cancer, and then to look at the at to comparing the toxicity compared to paclitaxel and trastuzumab. And talking of the second end point that has been previously reported and published by Sarah Tolani and colleagues, um, we saw that the toxicities in terms of percentages, at least the clinically relevant toxicities, were not significantly different, but the type of toxicity were different. And TDM1 allowed patients to have less alopecia, more war productivity, and in general, better quality of life. And so it was important to see if the activity of TDM1 was comparable to TH, to paclitaxel and trastuzumab, and at this five-year end of study analysis, this is what we found, is that the efficacy of TDM1 at preventing recurrences was outstanding, with 97% invasive disease fear survival rate and 98.3% relapse-free interval rate, that I believe is the most important endpoint because it was, reflects actually the, the recurrences. There were very few, only three distant recurrences among 383 patients that really speaks of the efficacy of this regimen and we also conducted several correlative analyses, but I would like to highlight one that I think is very promising, and it's HER2DX, this novel genomic test that is trying to dissect the patients with bad prognosis compared to the ones with better prognosis. And what we found with HER2DX is that there was a small population of patients, about 6% of the, <coughs> sorry, <clears throat> about 6% of the patients treated with TDM1 or, or TH in the attempt that had up to 20% risk of recurrence compared to most of the other patients at less than 2% risk of recurrence. And this is very important because if a test could allow us to predict which are the few patients that could record, that could experience a recurrence, maybe in those patients we could theoretically think of escalating treatment, but it is only an hypothesis, of course, not something to do tomorrow in the clinic, whereas all of the other patients could receive a de-escalated regimen like paclitaxel, trastuzumab, or TDM1. So for the moment, these are retrospective analysis where 2DX, so we need prospective trials with these tests, but I believe that is very, very promising and in the future could help to refine treatment tailoring in HER2 positive early and maybe also metastatic breast cancer.